Hi fellow flowers, Violet here and welcome back to the floor with me. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit more like aviation related. So um, I don't know if you saw but like a couple months ago I posted that I did my first um, private pilot solo and for me it was like a big deal because i was like well guys i'm flying now i'm getting to the like written test kind of phase of my education and so i thought i'd help you guys out by just kind of giving you some tips and stuff of things that you should bring to your private pilot written exam all right so as always we're just going to kind of jump right into it the first group of things that you're going to be needing are all mandatory items that you need to have with you. And then the second group of items, they're gonna be more optional equipment. Um, so first of all, you're gonna need proof of who you are. So this can be a valid driver's license, this could be um, a valid passport, but just something um, that has your face, your name, and like date of birth and address, that sort of thing. Next, you're gonna need something um, that suggests like proof of residency as well as a valid mailing address. So this can be um, a medical certificate, a student pilot license, um, an electric bill, a water bill. This can also be like a lease agreement or a mortgage agreement, something with your name on it and the address. Um, some other examples are um, valid vehicle registration, valid voter registration, and lastly, um, it would be if you're a student and living in student housing, maybe something from a school administrator that is signed with the address on it saying, hey, this person lives here and I, they signed it. There are obviously going to be a couple of more items that I didn't include and that aren't getting included in this video. Um, some of the requirements may differ depending on what um, license or endorsement you're trying to get. So I'm going to post a link down to the official FAA document down below just to kind of uh, back myself up here. All right, and the last um, group, our uh, last couple of checklists, whatever, of a couple of things that you're going to need um, are going to be your proof of pilot grind, uh, private pilot ground school um, completion. Uh, so this can be like a graduation certificate from the um, accredited school, or it can be an endorsement from your CFI or the president of your school saying, hey, so-and-so did their, their schoolwork, here you go. All right, so now we're getting into like the optional equipment. Is what we're gonna call it. So um, these are just a couple of things that I recommend you bring, very highly recommend you bring, such as like a pencil and eraser. They may supply you with one, they may not. You don't know, just bring it. But the big thing is your E6B um, and then your plotter. So these things are definitely gonna come in handy when it come in handy for those cross-country planning questions, as well as stuff like um, trying to figure out fuel consumption or distance between two airports, that sort of thing um, that may come up on the exam. And then of course, a calculator and possibly a protractor if you wanna be super extra. Okay, and then the last couple of items, I would just recommend you memorize these because they're gonna help you so much, especially when you're going into this thing like super anxious and all that and stressed. It's just gonna help you preserve some time um, as opposed to having to search through your brain for all the knowledge. So first thing is going to be the VFR weather minimums triangle. It's gonna come in super handy for those. What's the minimal, minimum visibility for a class C airspace sorts of questions. Next is going to be the airspace minimums. Um, there's a little diagram that I'm sure you've seen your CFI has shown you or you've looked over when you're looking over um, sectional charts for the first time. It's just gonna help you um, know the minimums for each of those airspaces. I would recommend just drawing these things over and over and over until you get them. It's just gonna save you so much stress, so much of the hassle. Um, and then lastly, it's just like a little bonus is the weight and moment um, kind of balancing chart. Um, just because if you're a visual kind of person, sort of like me, being able to see everything mapped out on a piece of paper is just gonna help you tremendously. So these are just things I'm just trying to tell you, just remember how to draw them. So that way when the question comes up, you know exactly where you need to go get the information in your brain. You aren't allowed to bring any notes with you again. So having these things committed to memory is gonna be like amazing. So y'all. Yeah. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you for today's video. I hope that this helps you out. I wanted to say good luck on your private pilot exam. And let me know if you have any questions or comments about aviation down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Keep blooming. Bye.